Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to another episode of Maggie Diaries. I am your host, Hanifa Adam, and I am so thrilled to be back here today. Before we call in our guest, I have a funny plantain story I will be sharing with you and my guest today. Let's welcome Kafila. Assalamu alaikum, sis. Wa alaikum, salam. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm yeah. so happy to be here. Before you came in, I was just telling the viewers at home how I have a very funny story, and I'm sure you have some for me, too. I have a whole lot of stories to share with you. <laughs> and it looks like we're having beans today, or...? Yes, you're very correct. Today, we are going to be making savory beans with fried plantain, fish, and veggies. I know you can't wait to get into the I action of it. I can't wait. I know, I, I know. <laughs> but we're going to go on a quick break now and when we come back I'm going to introduce you to the ingredients on the table. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love like onion, celery, turmeric, soya and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and welcome back to Maggie Diaries. So, like I said earlier, I'm going to be introducing the ingredients to you. I'm going to be using beans, tomatoes diced, plantain, fish, you know, any fish of your choice, onions diced, diced scotch bonnet, diced tatashe, effort, any effort of your choice or vegetable of your choice as well. I'm going to be using Maggie's signature jollof, our favorite finisher, and Maggie star cube. So the first thing that we're going to do is, let me okay. wash the beans, can you? This washing beans doesn't take as long as washing rice. No, it then doesn't, you know, because you have to get all the starch yeah. out and everything. This one is just Quick, fast, fast. To the yeah. Point. This is our savory beans. The vegetables, is uh, that what's well, making it savory? Well, it is the pepper and tomatoes and onions that are going to make it savory. Uh, so what's next? Thank you, we're just going to pour the beans inside okay. the water. All right, so it's not like we're going to fry the veggies first. No, not yet. I mean, you know, because it's vegetable, we are going to like leave the beautiful things for oh, last. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to, you know what? I want to add some onions to it now, okay. just to soften the beans. We want to marinate our fish now, and you can help me peel one Maggi cube. Okay. Yes. Do that. That used to be my job growing up. Peeling Maggi. Yes. Well, well done. Like <laughs> when we are having family events, so my oh, mom will just bring out this very then. big nylon of Maggi and then I'll peel, peel, peel. I mean, the beautiful thing about that is there's also Maggi powder now that you can use. So yes, it's not yes. I mean, I really love this uh, yeah. signature jollof. Yeah, it's jollof. a very nice finisher for your meals. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Now that we're marinating that, I'm going to wash my hands and keep that aside. So we're just marinating with Maggi alone? Just that. Let's do the vegetable. Okay, so, so are we, we cutting it? Yes, it from we store. are picking a four. Yeah. I mean, this one is better than... Is nice than yeah. a do. Yeah, I know. I prefer a four to a do. I'm not going to lie, I've not heard of a four in beans. Oh, we're serving it with it with the beans. So the oh, first, yeah, on the side. Yeah. So I want to just wash it out, you know, to make sure it's clean. Okay. So now that that's washed, so I'm just I'm using a strainer, yeah. very cool. Yeah. Makes everything easier. Yes. So I want to share like a tip with you. Okay. When you are preparing vegetables, it's always a good idea to blanch it, you know, in hot water so that you can still retain the greenness. It makes like the color pop and it makes it more vibrant, especially when you like crunchy vegetable. So what I'm going to do now is to pour hot water on it. We also do this when we are making a foil. You know, after you finish cutting it, you yes, rinse yes, it off yes, with yes. hot water. Now that I've soaked the vegetable in hot water, I'm okay. now going to run it through cold water again, you know, before we cut it. While you're cutting the foil, let me check on the beans. Okay. Oh, it's already almost done. Because it's like almost done, that is when we are going to add the 
tomatoes and peppers, you know, okay. for the savory meal. Just a little bit, because we're still going to use this for our sauce. Now, I can't wait for that sauce. I know. <laughs> I can't wait for that. And even some onions still. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to cover it like that. I'm going to stir it up later. We just need it to steam together. Then to my plantain, which also reminds me of the story that I have. One Ramadan, I was like, I, I was still less than 10 years old, and okay. my mom sent me to go and buy plantain. But I went out and I went to go and buy bunny. <laughs> I, I will say that's a very honest mistake. <laughs> but right now, there is a special way I'm going to be making the plantain. Yeah. I'm going to cut it into long diagonal shapes because at the end of the episode, when we are plating the plantain, we are going to be making fun rosette shapes. Well, because we are still waiting for our beans and I'm waiting for the oil to eat up, we are going okay. to go on a quick break. And when we come back, we are going to continue with our cooking. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. Before we went on the break, I talked about how we're going to fry the plantain, so I'm just going to get on with that. The oil is already very hot, so I'm just going to fry everything. Do you like eating dodo a lot? Yes, I do. That looks good. Looks we're going really to wait good. for it to become golden brown, and then we'll continue with the rest of our dish. Let me just stir the beans together, and okay. we'll continue with that. Can you tell me what your favorite part of Ramadan is? Uh, no, I have is to it shopping <laughs> Because I because really like, like shopping. Everything and about Ramadan, it has this particular feel. Like, everything is, just feels more chill. Like, you're rested. I don't know. I don't even feel hungry or anything. I just really like Ramadan. That is part of the grace of Allah for the people that are fasting. Yes, it is not very life. tasking for you, At especially all. if you're in good health. Look, mm, it's savory because, and you can see the pop of color with it the tomatoes. And smell. yeah, before I turn off the fire, I'm just going to add one cube of Maggi star okay. into the beans. And then we are going to let it steam for a while. And then that's it. Mm, that looks good. It smells good as well. Can you please help me get the fork so that it starts turning mm, the Because on. one minute you're looking at the plantain, another minute it's already black. Mm, I think I'm going to like this too. The I sleep. will like it as well. You now let's leave it for a little while like, so that it can be properly golden brown. Okay. Yeah, I think we are good to go. Right. Because we don't want anything to waste in the kitchen, the oil we use to fry the plantain, we are going to use it to fry our fish as well. But I have a tip for you that I'm going to be sharing. Because we don't want the fish to scatter in the oil, I'm going to be coating it with like a mixture of flour and water. That way, Ooh. everything stays intact in the oil when it's frying. Just a little and okay. yeah, and water. Can you please just help me return the Yeah, Thank you. I've made a very light butter. Do we need to add anything like eggs or anything um, else? No eggs, but I can put half a cube of Maggi in it, you know, just to give it mm. seasoning. Okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. We'll keep, we'll keep that for later. <laughs> a little just to the magic. Yeah, you can see how it is just a very light coating. And then I'm going to fry it in the very hot oil. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, nah. we are safe. <laughs> I really love all the tips that I've gotten from you today. You are welcome. Especially this flour, because it's so easy for fish to scatter. I know, so this is going to actually make sure that our fish is intact in the oil. Okay. So the flour isn't going to like disturb the taste of the... No, it's not. I mean, you know, we've already even um, seasoned it with Maggi. Oh. So it's going to... Look! Our fish looks perfect. No breaking up. Our fish is done now, and I'm just going to bring it out. Let me turn off the heat. Let me help you with this. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Very crispy. 
So now that our fish is ready, our plantain is ready, I'm just going to reduce the oil in here because that is the oil we are going to use to make our sauce. Our, our sauce. sauce is very easy and very fast, so we're not going to waste any time at all. So I'm going to add my onion. We're just yes. going to start, yeah, we're just going to start immediately. Everything, yes. everything, oh. we are, yeah. Do you want lots of, okay, it's not, it's not plenty anymore, so. And actually, I like a lot of it. You like, uh, well. I love rodo. Like, when I make noodles, it has to be a lot. Can anybody eat your, your. No, <laughs> nobody eats noodles with me at all. <laughs> eat myself. Okay. I just love the process of frying sauce. Looks beautiful. So remember that half Maggi that we used before? I'm just yes. going to add the rest to it. Okay. We are not yeah. adding a lot because we still have our finisher that yeah. we are going to use with it. I'm excited for it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so after let after we let that cook, okay. I'm just you know like for one or two minutes so that it will be nice and cooked. Cooking. We are releasing Soft. the flavor. Yeah. Are now I'm going to add our Maggi signature jollof in the sauce. This is a finisher, so you use it when you are almost done with your cooking. So I'm just going to add the vegetable in as well. So I'm just going to stir everything together so it's all properly incorporated. Yeah. And we don't want to cover it. Okay. It will all cook together because if we cover it, we might lose the color again. Mm. And we still want to keep it green and vibrant. Okay, so the sauce is done now. I'm going to turn off the heat and we are going to go on a short break. When we come back, our meal is going to be plated and ready for iftar. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. <laughs> Masha Allah, our iftar meal is served and I am certain this tastes better than it looks. A tip to consuming this meal is to do so with your family, loved ones and friends because we at Maggie believe that in this Ramadan season, Everyone, Everyone is welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and if you missed out on us preparing this amazing dish, don't worry, you can catch up on all the process on our social media platforms. And while you're here, follow us on it as well. You don't want to miss out on any of the episodes. Until our next episode of Maggie Diaries, we at Maggie Diaries are wishing you and your family a peace-filled and blessed Ramadan. Salaam alaikum. <laughs> <laughs>